You guys want to rest here? Disappearing Zoogle. Now that I think about it, that does sound familiar. That's right. Are you okay? Of course. Those days are in the past now. to let the blazing sword get wet. I told you, don't worry about it. Our sword will be fine. Wait, someone's fallen over there. Bogdale? Bogdale! Hey, Bogdale! Is... is that you, boy? What happened? Right after you left, that Zugo came. I thought I had him, but he got the drop on old Bogdale. These wounds are bad. He needs healing right away, or that man. Is he a friend of yours? A friend? Well, at the very least, he's always been good to me. Understood. Nazamil? She's... Bogdale? What happened? I thought I was a goner. Those wounds were mortal, but they healed in an instant. Incredible. Was I of use? Absolutely. Look. Are you the one who saved me? Yes. You don't say. I owe you my life, young lady. Thank you so much. You've got my thanks, too. You really are amazing, Nazamil. See? There are people out there who appreciate you. And there always will be. <sighs> anyway, now that we've completed the job, we should go back to the city and tell Lagil. think it would attack while we were out searching for it. Yeah, I thought he was a goner for a minute. Thank goodness we had Nazamil with us. Hey, I was just thinking, 
When we get back to Descent, let's celebrate. Celebrate? Celebrate what? Are you really that dense? Nazamil's performance, obviously. We should. It was our first request completed together. Besides, she deserves most of the credit. In that case, there's a place I've been wanting to check out for a while now. Let's go there. <laughs> what is it, Nazamil? No need to hold back. I'm not holding anything back. It's just that it's hard to relax when I'm surrounded by strangers. Then why don't we camp like we used to? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. We could build a fire, cook food together, and really have some fun. Yeah, I'd like that. Let's have fun tonight. Yeah. What should we make then? We're doing this for Nazamil, so let's skip the fancy delicacies. For the seating arrangement. There. That ought to do it. How's it going on your end? All the ingredient preparation is out of the way. I'm ready to start cooking. Can I help with anything? Maybe I could be in charge of the seasoning. No way. We don't want to risk putting people's tongues or stomachs in danger today. Oh, uh, right. What is it, Nasamil? <laughs> oh, uh... I gathered branches for the fire. Does this look like it will be enough? Yeah, that should do it. Thanks for the help. You're the guest of honor today, so you really didn't have to do anything. Yeah, but I'd rather be together with everyone. Oh, Nazamil's here too. Welcome back. Huh? What's the matter? Did I say something weird? What do you mean, welcome back? Huh? Well, you're finally back, aren't you? It's just that... No one's ever said that to me. I mean, not until now. So I don't know what I'm supposed to... It's good to be back. Huh? When you hear welcome back, you can say that in response. Um... People say welcome back to their friends or family when they return to a place that's like home. A place... that's like home. But... But I... This place is sort of like a home, too. Good... to be... Mm -hmm. It's good to be back. There you go. Welcome back, Nazamil. Welcome back. Well then, let's get the preparations done before it gets dark. Mind lending me a hand, Nazamil? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Let's make this night one to remember. You can leave that to me. <laughs> I hope we can travel together forever. Forever would be impossible. Why is that? Travel has a purpose and a goal. 
Once the objective is reached, the trip is over. Yeah, I guess you're right. But some things do last forever, like friendship. The bonds we form will always be there. I hope so. This came out so good, I almost hate having to eat it! I haven't slept that well in a long time. We need to... Let Lagiel know about this. Yeah, you might be right. Maybe we could have handled that better. She may be a little concerned, but I don't think it's anything to worry yourself over. That's true. We've known each other a long time, after all. changed. Who? Me? Yes. You've loosened up. I agree. You seem to be having fun. To be honest, 
I don't really know what it's like to have fun, but unlike before, my heart feels lighter. It's a little strange, but it's not a bad feeling. I'd never wanted to use my power to help anyone before, nor had I ever been praised for it, and I never imagined I'd ever travel with someone. With friends. I'm sure there are a lot more travels in your future. In my future? Do you have some kind of dream? Something you want to do? I'm not sure. I've never thought about the future before. You don't have to force yourself. Say, what about a hobby or something? What do you like to do? Oh. I like to draw. To draw? Just scribbling things I see or feel. O only sometimes, though. Interesting. So you're an artist? Sure, that got your attention. But you draw the things that leave an impression on you, right? I think it's a lovely hobby. If you don't mind, to show me your drawing sometime? Yeah, I'd like that. I think it's safe to rest here now. Sara! Lord Dohalim! Oh, thank goodness. What's wrong? We took care of the Zugal that was attacking the ranch. You did? That's great news. However, something more urgent has come up now. After you left, we received a report from the Darkwings. The Darkwings? From Niez? The city's Danans and Renans are provoking each other. And the Dark Wings say they can't control the situation for much longer. So they say... I know, I know. 
You want us to return, right? It sounds like the situation must have worsened if they sent such an urgent backup request. Undoubtedly. And we just came from Yes. <laughs> Are you still coming with us? <laughs> I want to be with you all. And also, I... I want to be of use. You've definitely proven you can take care of yourself just fine. It's settled then. Back to Niaz. What are those guys in Niaz trying to start? Even if they don't have weapons, Renans have astral arts. Yeah. Yes, but what about the Danans? Don't tell me they plan to use bombs again. I'm sure not everyone wants to fight. We have to find... Zookles are inside the city. I don't know if it was the Danans or the Renans who did it, but someone must have let them in. But how? The Renans can't control them anymore, right? We've got to figure that out, and get rid of all the Zoogles in the city. There are too many for us to split up and fight in groups. I'll take a look around. Oh, right! If you turn invisible, you can walk right past the Zoogles. Go ahead, but be careful. I'll be fine. Let's hunt some circles. Just what were they thinking letting Zoogles into the city? I'm sure they weren't thinking that far ahead. Well, they should have. Now they're putting their own people in danger. We've got to take care of it ourselves. Damn it. Cranter! Uh, no, no, I'm free! Stop it, they just sit still! See ya. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done! Situation under control. Right. There's only one thing for us to do. Well, someone... Nothing new about that, Shion. And still as humble as ever. What about Nasumi? Did she go already? I think so. Let's hurry before she gets too far ahead. A Zuko body. Not just that. It can't be. The Hollowing? Zugal carcasses and the hollowing. What happened? That brat. That damn redded lord's brat. She dissolved the Zugals in a flash and then... You're saying Nasumil did this? The dead Zugals? And the hollowing too? The hollowing is what remains after matter has been stripped of all its astral energy. Nazamil gathered astral energy for a powerful astral art before. So maybe... Hollowing in this city? This is not good. We should hurry and catch up with her. Do Danans and Renans really want to fight so badly? They're willing to expose their own people to danger? I refuse to accept the idea that things were peaceful back when we were oppressed by force. More of the Halloween and another body. Hey, at least... Nasamil in there? The trail of Hollow leads into the plaza. She must be. We've got to hurry. No! 
out of our way, damn it! We have to get to the plaza. Stay out of our way! Don't get reckless. Focus on the enemies in front of you. I know. Oh, I'm such a oh, big You'll pay for that! Shouldn't have done that. Divide the circle. Immobilize that one. Indeed. That does seem wise. Now let's turn the tides. Much better. Here's a healing. Stay away from my friend. Strike. Crush. 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 You won't get away with that! Not today! Also be there? I believe so. Nazamil is likely there as well. Dragon show! Take this! Dragon! Will this help you? Dragon one! Here I come!
She's a monster. She melted it. Nazamil saved your lives! The hell she did? She's a monster! How could the hero of Dana defend this abomination? I don't get it! Whose side are you on anyway? Are you okay, Nazamil? <clears throat> well, if he refuses to do it... I don't get it. Why would the hero... How dare you. What the hell? Why are you turning on us? We're not the enemy. That thing's the one you should fight. I fought to save the oppressed. I fought to save all the innocent people of this world. Were you able to find out who could have let the Zoogles in? It was those men in the plaza. They burned some kind of incense that attract Zoogles. Where would they even get something like that? For now, most of those behind the scheme have been detained. I owe you. Denons are one thing, but can you even catch Renans? You may find it hard to believe, but... There are Renans that don't want to fight, but more pressing than that. Is the hollowing and everything that happened at the plaza. Yes. Rumors are already spreading like wildfire throughout the city. 
about Nazamil and Alfin both. I... Alfin. I ended up drawing my blade on those that turned to me for help. I used force on people who thought differently from me. Just like the enemies we all fought against. But what choice did I have? I think it'd be best for you to leave Niez for a bit. Just until things cool down. I hate to say it, since I'm the one who called you back here and all. But why? Alvin saved my life. He didn't do anything wrong. Nazamil. Why is Alvin the one being punished? Why not me? It's okay. It isn't Bayfon's fault. But... That's fine. I'll do as you say, and leave for a while. I'll tell everyone what really happened, how none of you are to blame. It doesn't make any sense. We rush to their aid, and this is how they treat us? Enough, Law. It would be too difficult to reach another city at this hour. Camping might be our best bet today. You didn't know. We never told you about it. But those people hate Alfin now. 
It's not your fault. But... If anything, it was my fault. This happened because I couldn't control my anger. You didn't start it. They were going to hurt Nazamil. Unfortunately, if you favor either side, the other will hate you. If you treat them equally, then they both will. People have strong opinions when it comes to the Blazing Sword. Pleasing everyone will hardly be a simple matter. What about you, Dohalim? As the final lord, you're in a similar position, don't you think? True. Some turn to me for help, while others despise me. All simply because I am a lord. But compared to the symbol that Alfin must bear, my burden is quite light. People can be... entitled about these kinds of things. If they assume someone is there to help them, they are doubly disappointed when that's not the case. In that, Danins and Renins are the same. So, what will we do now? Let's go back to Vicent for now. We can decide whether to divide up or not once we get there. Everybody, hurry! What's wrong? Nazamil's gone! What? Are you sure she's not just taking a walk around while invisible? Apparently not. She left behind a letter. Uh, to my friends. My, my first friends. It made me happy that I could help all of you. It made me happy to earn your praise. I don't want my friends to be sad. I don't want anyone to hate you. You all taught me that my power can be of use. So... I'm going to see if there isn't something I can do. What is this? What are you planning on doing, Asamil? Somewhere nearby, aren't you? Please, say something, Nazamil! Nazamil! It's been weeks. We're still searching for Nazamil, using Vicent as our base of operations. She was so happy to finally make some friends. Where could she be? What is she up to? Wherever she is, regardless of how much we continue to search, we still haven't managed to find a single trace of her. And, once again, find myself. She was spotted on Treslita Highway, correct? Yes, but we don't know that it was actually Nazamil. All we know is that they saw a Renin-looking girl wandering around by herself. I hope we find her this time. Even if it isn't her, it's dangerous for anyone to be alone outside the city. Let's...
am hungry. So hungry. I can eat a whole horse by myself. <laughs> I bet. Hmm, speaking of dinner, I think it's Xion's turn to cook tonight, right? I believe so. Let's ask if she can get started sooner rather than later. If for no other reason than to settle law down. Hmm? What? Something wrong? Hush. They sound quite excited about something. From what I've heard, a lot of people have been copying Kagari and Notio's wedding ceremony from last year. Yeah, it's a traditional Renan ceremony. But ever since they got married, it's gotten super popular, even among Danon couples. Uh, the whole thing was just so lovely. It was my first time attending a wedding, but I can definitely see the appeal. Lovely, yeah. Oh, and all the food they served was delicious, too. I know, there was so much food, but everything they served was carefully chosen. And you could taste the care put into every bite. And the flowers. The arrangement they chose for Kagari's bouquet was a perfect fit for her. Also, during the banquet after the ceremony, Kagari and Notia were telling me the whole story about how they found their new house. They said it was okay if it was simple and bare bones. They just wanted a warm place where they could spend their days together. I want that too. A joyous ceremony for a loving couple starting a new life together. <laughs> I guess dreams really can come true. It was a perfect day. <laughs> Sounds like someone may have been taking notes. N no, it's not like that. Anyway, Kisara, how about you? Me? Hmm. Well, I certainly don't think marriage is the most important thing in life. That said, I'll admit having a wedding ceremony does seem nice. Really? It sounds like you both feel the same way then. Oh, speaking of which, Kisara, do you remember what you said at Kagari and Notio's ceremony? About the bouquet toss? You mean how if you can't catch a bouquet, you'll end up always being single and alone? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. As it turns out, that isn't true at all. What? It isn't? Apparently not. I actually just found out recently myself. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned it without checking first. This is quite an interesting conversation. In more ways than one. Seriously? Who cares about weddings and all that kind of stuff? Let's go already! I'm starving! If we must. Personally, I feel it's rather boorish of you to spoil their fun. Hey! You guys talking about weddings? Oh, you three are finally back. Yeah, it turns out weddings are all the rage these days. I have heard the same. There is no denying that Notio and Kagari's ceremony was a delightful occasion, filled with warmth and understanding. That's for sure. Even after the ceremony was over, Xion just kept going on and on about how nice it had been. I... I don't know about that. Really? I guess I never realized. Law must be misremembering, that's all. <laughs> anyway, I've got a dinner to make. Seems like it's a bit of a touchy subject for her. It would probably be best not to press her on it. <sighs> what is it, Alfin? Is something the matter? No, sorry, I... I'm just realizing that there's so much I don't know. I had no idea that weddings were popular, that Xion was so interested in them. Any of it. Don't let it get to you. Paying attention to such things is simply not in your nature. Damn, Dohalim. Are you trying to cheer the poor guy up or rub salt in the wound? No, it's fine, Law. Dohalim is right. Still, it's something I need to work on. Otherwise, it could get me into real trouble in the future. Maybe someday I'll, uh, find someone I want to marry. If my bride is someone who cares deeply about the wedding ceremony, then that means it should be important to me, too. I don't want to use my own ignorance as an excuse to make my bride-to-be do all the planning. That would be a huge burden for one person to carry, right? That may be the case, but I'm still not sure what you're getting at. I just think that it's important to know about weddings. Not only weddings, but marriage in general. I need to learn more about them so I can be prepared. I want to do some research and fill in the gaps in my knowledge. That way I'll have the confidence to help out and make informed decisions when the time comes. But I've never done something like this before. I have no idea where to even begin. So, 
You're saying you want us to help you out? You got it! To be honest, I don't really know that much about the subject myself, though. Thanks, Law. Oh, speaking of which, you should definitely make sure to ask Xion for help. There's probably nothing about nuptials that she doesn't know. No. Sorry, but I, uh, want to keep this a secret from her. Because, um, I'm doing this for my own benefit. So I want to do as much of it as possible on my own, without being a burden on anyone else. I realize I'm asking for some assistance from all of you guys, but I don't want to bother Xion with this. If I did, then I'd end up relying on her too much. I really want to avoid that. So, I want to do this research, but I also want to keep Xion from finding out about it. Can you help me? Whoa, that was a whole lot of words. But I think I get what you're trying to say. You could have just said you don't want to cause trouble by not knowing anything, because you finally decided you want to marry Xion. Ow! You need to work on your filter law. You don't have to say every thought that pops into your head. You aren't a little kid, are you? Ah! Ugh. Sorry. My, my. Those growing pains can sure pack a wallop. At any rate, I think I speak for all of us when I say we are sympathetic to your cause. We shall assist in your research and keep it to ourselves. You should go about this endeavor in your own way. If you do not wish to involve Xion at this time, then so be it. But be mindful that should she find out, you'll likely need to explain all of this to her. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble one. I'm rooting for you, Alfin. Thanks, all of you. I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to gather as much info as I can. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? 